What's up, fight fans? This is Anna here to do another boxing analysis. This analysis is between Timothy the Desert Storm Bradley versus Ruslan Pavanikov. Okay, in this post fight analysis, I have to throw out there first that this was a great, great, great fight. I mean, like I always say, man, two Guerreros, two Warriors went head to head, toe to toe, and I have so much respect for Timothy Bradley. So he had so much cojones, so much heart. I mean, his got his own was just just mas, macho, just just so big. You know, the guy was amazing tonight. And and yes, he got dropped. He got dropped about what two or three times, something like that, maybe even four. I know he got dropped in the twelfth uh, round. I mean, it was just amazing battle. I mean that that Siberian Russian guy. I mean you could tell like he was hungry, he came to win. He was he was just so excited to to do something special, you know. And um, I mean I I don't know much else to say except a great great fight. I mean when you see somebody like Ruslan Provodnikov who comes forward, throws exceptional left hook, and always follows with an overhand. He uses his knuckles people like he really punches hard with his uh, two front knuckles and and when he done that I mean when he did that it was just I, I mean I was in a loss for words I mean he would give anybody hell at 147 pounds. Carlos Abreu, uh Floyd, even Floyd Mayweather I believe at this stage in his career uh, and I know I, I'm speaking for the moment but it is what it is I mean Lucas Matisse uh, Marcus Maidana, if he, you know, like anybody that comes up at 147 pounds, I know he didn't get the the, the decision tonight, and I believe he won that fight. I'm not going to say he was robbed because Timothy threw a thousand punches throughout the fight, and he landed more punches throughout the fight, even though it didn't seem that way. Remember, Timothy was pumping his jab like no other, and this is boxing. This is not the fighting championships of the world. This is boxing championships of the world. I have to tell people that all the time when they ask me, oh, how do you score fights? How do you do this? How do you do that? I tell you, man. I tell you. You have to score on effective aggression. I mean, aggressiveness. Uh, ring generalship. Using head movement. Good defensive skills. But mostly you look for the offense. You look for counter punching skills with the defensive skills. That person has good counter punching and he's doing the hit and not be hit method, which the sweet side of boxing is founded on, then that person's gonna win majority of the rounds. Unless that person gets wobbled with an overhand right, which Timothy Bradley was getting wobbled with throughout the the contest. And I believe it was a close fight, but I believe Timothy won it by a one point, you know, decision. I mean, when guys go that hard, it's not fair to give them a draw. I believe a draw is when it's two guys that fought but they didn't do no damage to each other. Like Shane Mosley versus um, Sergio Moore, for example. That was a fight where Sugar Shane and the Snake, they didn't do much. I mean, they threw punches and tried to do something, but it didn't, they, they didn't have the location. That's what I meant to say, guys. Location is everything in boxing. I mean, it really, really, really is. I mean, it, it really shows what kind of skills that you've been practicing in the gym. Those four week to uh, you know four to six weeks, maybe even eight week training camp. Most championship fights are six to eight weeks, and uh, just in general, I mean you gotta give Timothy his credit. A lot of people hate on him. I'm gonna be honest, you know I, I was on the as they call it the hate train, or I, I didn't too much like the guy, but the guy comes to fight. I mean you can't sit up there and say that you didn't like his his heart. The dude came to fight. He was hungry, and I mean, he took some blows. I mean, the guy took some punishment tonight. His jaw seemed like it was swollen. He said he was dizzy after the fight. I mean, I know he got the 12 rounds. Uh, I think it was a split decision. Yeah, I mean, I felt like he deserved it. I mean, dude went through hell. He still managed to box in, in, in the matter of all that. I call it like a tornado twister blizzard of punches by Pavonikov. I mean, the guy is just a combination machine if he gets you in the corner on the ropes. And he has great timing. Oh, that man's overhand right is, is just golden. I mean, it's, it's perfect. 
any other boxer, trust me, they would have been knocked the fuck out, okay? They would have been on the ass. They would have been done. I'm telling you. Like, I mean, I know boxing. And Timothy just has good chin, big cojones, big out of his own, and, and, and just great legs. I mean, when you have great legs, you're going to stay up. Yes, he was wobbly. Yes, he got knocked across the ring with that left hook that Provana caught through in the 12th round. But, I mean, I mean, if you go off of the almost knockdowns and the knockdowns that happened throughout the fight, put it this way, Timothy got rocked a thousand times more than Bruce Lee got rocked. And most people scored on that. They look at it as, I like the come for a fighter, which majority of people do in boxing. And they like the location that Provodnikov had with trapping Bradley into the ropes and working his, you know, basically getting Bradley into his type of fight. Anyways... Um, it was just a great fight. I mean, I, I was not expecting that. I was expecting Timothy Bradley to box at least nine or ten uh, rounds and then kind of fight, you know, and the, at the end of the fight. This guy was fighting from the beginning, Bill. I, I was like, adios mio. Like, I, I, didn't, I didn't know what to say except just, wow. I mean, what else can you say? I'm like... And I was rooting for Bradley, and there was times I'm rooting for Bobanikov, and I was rooting for Bradley. It was just back and forth. That's how you know it's a great fight, and, and two men showed that they have that that the Warriors spirit. I was just amazed. Um, Bradley's gonna have to take a long, long layoff again, a good five or six months before he gets back in the ring, probably later on this year. And um, I mean, man, it's just crazy. I, I can't see. I just I just can't see him coming back in the ring quick. So uh, you guys tell me what you think in the fight. I really feel that uh, you know Bradley squeaked it out. But I believe if you I mean anybody can say the Provanco won. You know when you throwing so many power punches in their landing. So I mean, but stats don't lie. You know I really believe in that. And Bradley uh, boxed more effective just a little just by a little bit. I know a lot of people are gonna get a lot of hate from this, but I mean, I just don't feel Bronnikov was robbed, you know. He was taking punishment too. His eyes were closing up and he was getting hit a lot. I believe if he would have used better head movement and not got hit as much and like really just got him out of there. Because he could have knocked him. There was times where I saw Bronnikov not really hold back, but it seemed like he was like, damn, this dude will not go down. I mean, I don't care how powerful you are. Most fighters, we have that in us. So we're like, damn, this motherfucker will not go down. He was chopping that tree, but it, it just didn't go. I mean, he almost knocked him out. I was, I was impressed. But um, I could have easily seen anybody score for Provodnikov, uh, by two rounds or by a round. I mean, it, it's all about you know to to each his own. You know, well, whatever your judgment, I respect everybody's opinion and uh, however you saw the fight, however you saw it. Um, but Bradley did take a much much more punishment throughout the fight. I will I will say that I've never seen Bradley. Looked like that. Pacquiao couldn't even make his face look like that. I, I was impressed at Pavanikov's power, determination, and just overall accuracy with his counter shot. I mean, amazing. Uh, great night of boxing. Tell me who you think both boxers or both fighters, however you want to uh, see them as, how do you see them faring up in the 147 pound division? Do you think they should face Carlos Abagru? Um he has a fight coming up not too long from now. Um, you got Devin Alexander, uh, Kel Brook at that weight class. You have, uh, I think, Edger Bonus coming up for one fight, maybe even two. That would be a crazy, crazy fight for Von McCall versus, or even Bradley versus Boner. Crazy, crazy fight. Um, let's see here. Uh, like I said, Devin Alexander, I think I already said his name, and uh, Von McCall would not, probably knock him out. Just throwing that out there. And Marcus Maidana is in 147. So those are the big, big, big names. Of course, Floyd Mayweather, but I doubt that he would face Ruslan and Pavonica. Uh Maybe Timothy Bradley. I think that would be a good style matchup for Floyd. I think he would try to pick him apart. But we'll see what's going to happen with the Robert Guerrero versus Floyd Mayweather fight. And like I said, so many fights in boxing. I'm just, just muy, muy, muy feliz. I mean, beautiful, beautiful night of boxing. Oh, Jesse Vargas versus Omotoso. That was a great fight. I don't know if you guys caught that on the um, on the undercard. I mean, Jesse showed his heart. He needed a fight like that. An undefeated guy that's coming 
hunger to win from uh, I think he was from a South African country um, I'm not sure exactly where but I, I believe he's from South Africa he was really really good had a good jab then a little Muhammad Ali shuffle clowned around a lot but Jesse controlled that action throughout the fight he got rocked a couple times but he showed his heart like I said and, and, and he showed he had his chin you know and uh, I just like that he getting these really good competition you know he's not getting fed tomato cans as people say he's getting real stern steady competition so just keep doing your thing Jesse Vargas big 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 fan and uh, to all my boxing fans out there thank you for watching and uh, tell me what you think about the fight tonight for both fights and uh, who do you think Bradley should face next like I said and uh, who do you think Ravonna should face next alright good night peace